Hey everybody, welcome back to another video with me. Um, today's video is going to be a, it's a request um, from a while ago. I tend to um, go through messages and see, you know, what people are asking for and I try to accommodate them, try. <laughs> so this is one of those things. Um, the dog bandana video was such a hit. Check it out if you haven't, you know, and, um, if you have a pooch, you know, um, I figured that today we'd make something, you know, for the pooch. <laughs> so today we are going to sew a pet carrier. Let's get to sewing. So let's get started. So... The reason that we're putting fleece inside of the carrier, one, of course, for body, but also um, because what it does, second thing is, it's going to give a little, sorry guys, motorcycle going by. <laughs> um, it's going to give a little bit of a cushion, you know, a little soft touch inside of the bag for your little, for your little pooch, okay? So what we're going to do is um, let's adhere this, let's tack it on, baste it to um, the lining fabric first. Go ahead and get the wrong side of your lining, okay? So here is the wrong side of my lining, okay? And what I'm going to do is just adhere the, the fleece to it. I am going to stitch. We're going to stitch right around the edges, all the way around, just so that we can attach this. Do not do it on the top portion. We're gonna go around and we're gonna stop over here, okay? okay here we go. And I'm actually going close to the edge. Our seam that we do when we connect our um, two pieces together, they're actually gonna be a quarter of an inch. So you won't even see this stitch line there. Okay, so that's on there. It's already super comfy. And now we are going to do the same thing to the other side. We're going to put the fleece on for the other piece. So go ahead and grab that other part, your other lining. Let me see which part is my, that's my um, wrong side. <laughs> So the reason that we are not um, stitching, oh, I didn't do this portion. All right, hold on, let me, <laughs> I gotta do this portion here. <laughs> the reason that we don't wanna do this top part is because this is our inner layer when we put out two um, pieces together for the inner layer of the project, if you were to sew across the top of this, oh, I didn't do this portion. I gotta go back and um, do that part. If you were to sew across this top part, what would happen is you'd see the lining, you'd see the stitch mark in the inside of the bag and you don't wanna see that. Okay, so that's why we're not sewing across the very top. Okay, 
I gotta go back and sew this portion. I forgot to sew that. <laughs> We have our pretty sides together, okay? The pretty sides for the inner layer, okay? What we want to do right now is we want to prepare the dart. What darts do, darts help give a little bit of shape. That's what it does. And it's almost like um, um, when you're sewing clothing um, on a woman's shirt. Um, when you're sewing clothing, this these pieces right here like on a dress shirt <laughs> um you know like a button down dress shirt you'll notice that there are darts here and it's like that because we need it to um take the shape of what we have <laughs> so that's where you'll notice darts or in the pants actually you know by your um where your belt goes but anyway if you did not mark where your darts go go ahead and do that get these lines together Put them together and we are going to sew down. You can mark them if you need to um, with a fusible pen. Okay, there we go. Um, but what we're going to do is sew right down that triangular line, right down the diagonal line. Okay. We are going to give the bag a little bit of shape so that it's not completely flat but it also is going to give the bottom a little bit of a poof a little bit of a um you'll see it's going to you see what happens here when the other side is connected it's going to give it a little bit of a structure on the bottom for the little furry friend to sit in okay let's do the side the fleece is making it um not poofy, but it's making it look harder. Okay, I was looking for my line here. <laughs> okay, so there we are. I'm just going to connect my lines again. And again, you can, um, you can draw your darts. Just make sure you do your darts in advance. Okay. you're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Well, I'll show you this first. Hold on. You see? So what it's doing is it's creating almost, almost like a boxed corner. But what's going to happen is when this is like this, right? When you have it up, um, it's going to create a nice bottom for, um, for the pet to sit in. Go ahead and do the same thing um, for the bottom on your other side. Okay. Yeah, if you didn't have these darts, your bag will be flat. Mm. All right. So at this point, what we want to do is we want to take the um, two pieces and we want to um, put them right just for your lining fabric right now. Um, oh, you know what? Go ahead and cut the, um, well, I don't want to use that. <laughs> Go ahead and cut these triangles out. Okay, so that it relieves bulk inside of your material. Do the same thing to all four. And I, I did it about a little bit more than an eighth of an inch. <laughs> so I don't like to do it too close just in case I actually snip. Um, <laughs> in case I snip um, some of the fabric. I'm not worried about my stragglies because this is the inner um, the inner layer of the bag. So at this point, I'm going to connect the pretty sides of my lining together. Okay. That looks great. 
here all I'm doing is I'm going to line up the darts for the um, the lines for the darts I'm going to line them up so that they're in the same places okay it's a good um, reference point for you all right and now take your two edges put them together do some pinning I'm not going to pin all the way around okay here okay we are going to sew from the top of the bag here this portion not this portion this is going to end up being where the neck where your dog's neck goes or cat <laughs> okay so from this area all the way around to this area and what I'm doing is we want to make sure that we do not sew um, we want to make sure that we don't see um, the first stitching that we've done okay so um, I'm just lining up the end of my presser foot with the end of the fabric and that's all You don't want to use just cotton because um, this gives the little pooch a little bit of comfort. All right. Okay. See, here's what I was, here's what I was talking about. You see how it looks like it formed a box on the bottom? Almost like a boxed bag. Look at that. But, so, that's what it did. That's, it created almost like um, a sitting spot for it on the, um, for the pooch on the bottom. Okay, let's go ahead and work with um, the outer fabric. We're just going to create those darts. We're gonna do the same thing before we attach this to the lining fabric, okay? Again, my um, triangles are marked already. And so what we wanna do is create those darts again so that they're, you know, so that they're here. Um, you want to make sure that you're sewing, you are pulling your darts towards the inside of the fabric. Okay. Where's my line? <laughs> I'm looking for it. Okay. I see it. Da, da, da. Okay, there we go. <laughs> what you want to do is turn in your right side to right side. Okay, there we go. My triangle. <laughs> and I can see my line right here. I chose a light color fabric and now I'm like, oh, my eyes. <sighs> the struggle is real, y'all. The struggle is real. I'm going to be wearing reading glasses soon. Now I'm going to do the other one. There it is. <laughs> Sew those darts together. Okay. If you need to pin your dart, go ahead and pin your dart. Gonna cut this since I have it right here right now. All right. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Um, make sure you have your pretty side up, and we are lining up those 
lining up those darts. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> I should have used my fusion pen <laughs> to mark. All right, I'm going to start right up there at the top. for my last dart. Where is it? There it is. Hmm. I hope I got that line right. <laughs> at this point put our pretty pieces together so right side to right side and I'm going to do the same thing by um, attaching first I'm going to pin the darts together I'm going to Pin those together. And then we're going to do the same thing that we've done already. We're gonna, I'm just going to pin in like one place here. Um, here's that part where, you know, the, your furry friend's neck is going to lay. Okay, and we are right now closing it up. Remember, do not sew anywhere around the curve. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to turn this right side out right side out okay and now we have this piece which should be right side um well wrong side out <laughs> okay what we want to do is we want to fit this inside of this so that you have your two right sides together it's almost like when you're doing a tote bag okay Line these up at the seams here so I can pin this. Okay. And then, um, definitely, definitely need to pin it. Okay, I'm going to go over to this side and pin the seams together. Okay. All right, and now we can pin the rest of the bag. Here is, eh, where is it? <laughs> Make sure your straps, okay, are not, um, you know, mixed in with each other. <laughs> okay. All right. Make sure they're not tangled and make sure they're facing the right way. We'll push this out the way for just a moment. All right, I'm going to pin these together. Now, this bag ties on the shoulder, so we're going to sew straight down this entire way. Okay, it's going to tie right on the shoulder, so we're closing up. Um, we are going to sew all around this. Okay, it's going to take a little bit of maneuvering here, guys. 
I'm going to do the same thing for this one, straightening it up. Okay. If you want it to, um, you know what? I will do it when I'm done with this here. We're going to do a, um, we're going to attach a leash to this. Uh, okay. There we go. Let's pin this. I'm going to pin in a few different places. We're just sewing this so that this ties on the shoulder. Let's go ahead and create a leash for your for your um, for your pet, so I can attach to it. Fold that fabric in. We're gonna create like a tab. Okay. I'm going to get these raw edges so that they face in with each other. And this was a leftover from, um, from cutting the fabric. You'll see you have, a, you have excess fabric from the yard. Folding this in. And if you have watched any of my other videos, you know that I like to make little um, key, um, little key holders inside of the bags. This is actually the same thing that we're doing here. <laughs> um, we, the reason that we're doing this is so that when the pet is inside of the bag, what it's going to do is just allow you to, I should have put, um, I should have put gray thread, but it's going to allow you to um, attach this leash onto the pet's collar just in the event that, you know, your pet tried to slip out. I'm using this right here. Okay, I'm using that and I'm going to slide it on. I'm going to sew right across right here so that um, this is not going to shift if it has to be on the dog's leash, on the dog's collar. It's going to hold that clip in place. See, I'm cutting. All right. I'm going to unpin this. Okay. Make sure that raw edge sticks up. Okay. Is that lined up now? Okay, and just because it's a little thick, I'm going to start off sewing at this corner, okay? So you should have all of these pinned. All of this should be um, pinned and ready to sew. And I'm going to pin this one right here. All right, this seems a little long, but let me show you. We are going to, you know what? Now I'll start at the top here. The outside, we're going to start, um, we'll start at the top and we're going all the way down, all the way around the outer portions of the bag, all the way around. Okay. So that means going all the way over to the other strap. Okay. Coming all the way around, back down the strap, around the other side of the bag. Okay, until you get to the top where you started. Okay, so all you're doing is going all the way around the bag. <laughs> okay, this is going to take a while.
gonna go inside of here and we're going to go through that hole and just pull out, well, push <laughs> and pull. Okay. To turn it right side out. Okay, I'm just poking things out. All right. So you have to push your straps through. Here we go. The straps along. <laughs> Grabbing. I'm feeling for the end. Okay. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit of maneuvering. <laughs> so. Almost there. You know what I'm going to do? Here's my handy dandy chopstick. I'm going to get the handy dandy chopstick and I'm going to push it through. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's um go ahead and close up that bottom. This is gonna be a little thick, okay? Um, so you might want to just bump up your um, bump up your stitching just about a half an inch, okay? And go slow so you don't break any needles. <laughs> I'm not going to change from my white. Um, I'm going to leave that white thread on there, but that's just something you want to be mindful of um, if you want to, to change the, your thread um, to coordinate with your um, inner lining. later my stragglies okay push it through the only thing you have left to do that we have left to do now um I'm gonna iron it a little bit I'm gonna shake this down I'm gonna give it a little bit of a press so we can put a top stitching around. Okay, I'm gonna press this together here to flatten it out. Just around, I'm not going to iron the whole thing right now. I'm just going to, um, just gonna iron the edging. I like to iron before top stitching because it just um, it just helps to flatten the material. It 
and makes it look a lot neater. Here we go. This is also the side that I have the um, the leash at, the little keychain, well, not keychain, the little leash. So I'm just um, going to take my time going over the stitching because it's going to be really thick right there. Okay. All right, and now we can roll. That would be it. So, of course, you would go back and <clears throat> you would give it a final press, of course. Okay, this is what we have. So we have the area in here where, you know, you can actually clip this on to your furry friend's collar. Okay. And then, you see how this is low here? This is low so that your furry friend can actually put their head through that side or through this side. That's all. So let me just tuck this in and I'll just show it to you here. A nice little sitting area. I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna take off my little stragglies, my little tiny, teeny, tiny threads there. All right, so if you have questions, go ahead, put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you back here for the next video, okay? And I'll make you something else for a furry friend, okay? Um, if you haven't seen it already, go and check out that dog bandana video, okay? And I'll see you back, okay? Bye, guys.